Oh, this is a big deal going home today. <laughs> it's a day that I'm very happy for today. To bring my babies home. I'm uh, Dr. Stephanie Valber, and I'm the director of the University of Minnesota Equine Center. It started April 30th, and that was when Princess Fold, and first out came Henry, and all was well, but then out came William, and it's incredibly rare for horses to have live twin foals. I actually was with my mare at the time she went into foal, and um, when, when the first baby, Henry, was born, he was too small. I could see when he came out, he was just a little smaller than normal. And then the second baby came along. Well, just after that, I saw another set of feet, and then I knew why he was a little undersized. And that was at 7 o'clock at night. And then, um, oh, I lose track of it. 7 o'clock. I think I phoned you, Doctor, at about 7.30, 8 o'clock. Um, William was up and nursing and doing really fine. And Harry, I call him Harry Henry. It's a long story. <laughs> Harry was having all the stress, so I brought him in. We threw him into the back seat of the car, and um, my daughter sat in the back holding one baby on each arm, and I had a friend drive her in, and then I loaded the mom horse and brought her straight over. That <laughs> night, I think we basically just emergency care, getting them up and getting their, their vital signs going. And they uh, have been here for three weeks. We have a, one of the few facilities around where someone is with them every minute of the day for three weeks straight. They were assisted to stand to nurse. One of them for three days was bottle fed because he didn't quite have the strength to be able to get up. They were given intravenous nutrition, intravenous fluids, antibiotics, um, monitored. Many, many tests were run by our internal medicine specialists. They look almost double the size, don't they? Yeah. Really alert, strong, really strong. William is like a big Labrador puppy. You go and rub his tummy and he rolls over and he likes to put his head in your lap. And Henry, Harry is like the little terrier. When he gets up, he's got one thing in mind, he's off to mum. <laughs> and when he's done drinking and having nursing from mum, he likes to buck and play and bite his brother's ears. And so he certainly has, has more of the, the naughty side, I think, in him.